Hello, my fellow warriors, and welcome to the very first episode of Geek or Wish uh, unboxing and review. Uh, I, like I said in the announcement video, I decided to do this because I haven't really seen anybody do something like this before. And I mean, I've seen unboxing and review videos, and I've seen people buy stuff off of sites and stuff like that, but. Um, I, and I mean, there there might be somebody out there who already does it. I just haven't seen the videos or seen their channel. And if there is, then you know, I and I'm not claiming this is a completely original idea or anything like that. There's, you know, I could very well be doing the same thing that so many other people are doing. So, anyways, uh, but this is, as far as I'm concerned, you know, something new. And until you know, I just contradicted myself. Anyway. But until I hear otherwise, you know, and it doesn't matter anyway because I'm still going to do it. So, what I'm uh, starting off with today, I just got this today. I uh, f finished recording uh, uh, my episode, first episode of Mass Effect Andromeda just a little bit ago. And I got a call right in the middle of the episode. Well, actually toward the end of the episode. And uh, it was from the post office telling me that they have my package. Uh, it was delivered to my old mailing address which was the apartment that I used to live in that I used to record in all the time and yeah anyway uh, they were gonna send it back so I called them and they they said okay we've got your your pat or when the carrier returns we will take the package out we'll give you a call and let you know when you know when they when you can come pick it up so they called me while I was recording and so I paused the video, I, I called them back, and they said, yeah, we have your package. So here it is. Um, I'm going to need scissors or something along those lines. Where? You know what? Boom. Ha! Okay. Let's see, where's the tape? It's adult proof. I'm going to end up slicing my hand open and then you're going to get some extra entertainment. I know this is very riveting. That was not what I intended to do. I was just trying to separate the tape. Okay. Alright, so what I have in here, if if it works, that, and that's the reason I'm doing the review thing, is because I don't know if it's going to work or not. Okay. What I have in here is a tiny game system that supposedly plays old school games. Supposedly. It's one of those that you see, oh my gosh, this thing is tiny. I, I wish I had a phone to, or I wish I wasn't recording with my phone so I could compare size. Uh, here, here's an Xbox 360 controller. It's smaller, it's smaller than an Xbox 360 controller. They tape the sucker up good. But it's supposed to be 75 in one games or something like that. Uh, I don't know. I'm very iffy about that. Look at this thing. It is so tiny. Buttons feel kind of good though. I feel cheap, but they, they feel good. They got a good push to them. Good push. They click. Takes three AAA batteries. Uh, it comes with a screen cover, screen, screen protector. It, it's got the plastic on it that most electronics have, which, you know, coming directly from China and only being $15. Yes, I only paid $15 for this. That included shipping. It's actually like $12 or something like that. I am dropping junk all over the floor. I'm sure of it. Okay, so <clears throat> here it is. The... The RS1. I don't know. Um, 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause this and then I'm gonna go get batteries and I'm going to, we're gonna see if this thing works. So be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I have batteries for it. Let's turn it on. And it says 152 in one. Press the start. Look at that. It's got Contra 1, Super Mario, Ninja Turtles, Chippendale 2, Blood Fight, Heavy Barrel, I don't know what that is, uh, Ninja Gaiden 2 it looks like. Let's see what... Look at that! Super Mario Brothers. Oh my gosh, dude! This is freaking unbelievable! <laughs> Let's see if I can put this in the shot. This is seriously the most unbelievable thing I have ever seen. What else does it got? See, Ninja Gaiden 3, so for Double Dragon 2, Double Dragon 3, it didn't have Double Dragon 1, that's weird. Uh, Adventure, I don't know what that is. Goonies, Gradius 1, Legend Cage, World Cup. Kung Fu, Galaga, Desert Tank, Mario Brothers. Oh, the original Mario Brothers. Bomberman. Oh, does it have Zelda? Got Mahjong, Pizza Boy. It's got Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong 2. It has Pac Man. Uh, Donkey Kong 3, Excite Bike, Wrestle, uh, wow, it's got, it's got a lot of games I've never heard of, Galax, is that Galaxian? There's a bunch of breakout style games on here. Uh, a lot, a lot of games are called Super Tanks. It's Donkey Kong 3 again. Wow. Another Bomberman. Batman 1. Uh, wait. Street Fight. Street Fighter? Okay. It's... It's just called Fighter. Let's see what this one looks like. And Guile, we'll go with Guile. Yeah, come on. Wow. He's kicking my backside. I can't even do anything. I have got to say, 
This is possibly, oh, okay, Mario 8. Disney, I don't know what that is. Mario 7. Must be like fan-created ROMs or something. So, I mean, obviously these are ROMs running on a tiny emulator. Mario 6, Mario 5. Tons of Chippendales, ton, tons of Aladdins, tons of Silkworms, tons of Race, whatever that is. Yeah, there are a lot of repeat games on here. But, Angry Birds, it's got an 8-bit version of Angry Birds. Spartan, Arachnoid, Spider-Man, and Street Fight again, Super Pac-Man, I know this is very riveting for you. Hmm. Alright. So having looked at it, having, uh, you know, unboxed it for you all, having looked at it, um, my review for this, I, I haven't played, I mean, obviously, you've, you've seen what I've played of it. So... From what I can tell, as long as these are complete full games, which I I don't know for sure if they are, but I really have no no reason to doubt. And actually, what, what is that? Oh, it's volume. Oh, there's a volume control on too. That that really does surprise me, though. Huh? I thought there was supposed to be like an SD card slot or something. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Anyway. Oh yeah, and it also. Didn't it come with like a cord or a cable or something? Oh yeah, it's got TV out. Wait, where was the slot for that? I'm just throwing styrofoam everywhere. Oh, there it is. Right, right up here on the top. It's got a video out. Wait, no. Yeah. Oh, it's got mono. Hear the swords rattling on the wall? There's a helicopter flying over. But yeah, you put... Plug it into there. I don't know how the AV out, if it, how well it works. But yeah, and then you got your video and one audio plug. Uh, so you can play on your TV. Or even record it if you wanted to. Now having, no, like I said, not having actually played the game. Sorry, something the the speaker. Not having played any of the games on it for any length of time, and not knowing if they are, you know, that if they are uh, complete full games, I I can't really give give an honest 100% review of the product. Uh, the, the reviews I read, um, there's actually a couple of reviews where people said, oh, these are just demo games. But to me, it looked like they were full games. And, and But the thing is, is it says 125 in one. The, when I bought, uh, on the, as I bought it off of Geek, by the way, when I bought it, the description said 75 in one. So, and like, also, like I said, in the list of games, a lot of them are repeat games. Like, Donkey Kong was on there multiple times, and so was, uh, uh, so, so was, uh, the, there's different versions of Mario and stuff like that. But, yeah, I mean, but the thing is, though, this is pretty amazing. For, for uh, 12 bucks is what I actually paid for with $3 shipping. For that, th this is a steal. This is really a steal. 
if you are looking for a seriously portable and and i know it, you can download emulators on your phone and then download roms on your phone and everything else you know these days so i mean this is this is like whoop de doo to a lot of people but the thing is again it's only fifteen dollars and you don't have to waste your phone battery to play the games and it's, this is actually a very good if you don't want to go out and buy a phone for a kid you know for for your child to to play games on and stuff then um this would be perfect because like i said it's cheap plastic you know but i honestly believe it could possibly take a bit of a beating and since it's got a lot of those old school games on there, it could keep a child entertained for quite a while. Or if you if you know someone who who loves old school games, but they don't want to go through the hassle of of downloading you know an emulator or ROM, or if they don't know how to do that and they don't want somebody else missing their phone to do it, this is perfect. I, honestly, uh, I, I'm my rating system is going to be. Uh, uh, so many out of ten, and honestly, this as long as the game, if the games are full games and not just demos, then I give it, I give it an honest eight out of ten. I really do. This this is pretty amazing. I'm I'm very impressed with this. I, I honestly went into this, especially when I picked the package up, saw how small it was. I, I honestly went into this expecting to expecting it to not work i really didn't as i was going there to get the batteries i was like this is i actually said to myself this isn't going to work it's not going to turn on or anything but it did and it actually had games on it and i this is seriously one of the coolest things i have ever seen and this 15 dollars well spent in my opinion now if these are demo games then that seriously drops my rating down to four out of ten just because it's you know you're you're paying for partial games and I, I thought there was supposed to have been like an SD card slot on here uh, that would uh, that would let you that, that would let you uh, you know put ROMs on there and actually play it and everything but it's oh that's tournament fighters oh but anyway and but if it's full games which i honestly believe it is because those old nintendo roms as many of you know are so small it's not even funny so i mean this is this is no big deal you know for um for even something, even a device this small and this cheap, you know, it would not take anything to run these games. So I honestly believe these are the full games. So since I honestly believe that, I, like I said, I give it an 8 out of 10. And if you have the Geek app, and I think it might even pop up on Wish, all you gotta do is search, um, search under game systems and you, you'll you'll find a bunch of these there's some that are more expensive and i'm sure they you know are bigger and that you know they're different design you know uh handheld uh consoles and everything but um but uh yeah and they probably have more games on them but if you can and when you find one i i highly suggest getting it and again the fact that it has a tv can Hey! Sorry, yelling at my cats. They're, one of them's calling, or Deanna's calling on the couch. But the fact that it has a, a way to put out to the TV, that's just freaking cool. That's an addition that you wouldn't even think they would have thought of in this, but they did. So again, 8 out of 10 for this amazing little device. This is, again, seriously the coolest thing I have ever purchased for that cheap of a price. Thank you for joining me on this episode of Geek Slash... I, I'm going to have to figure out a name for this series, but thank you for this uh, joining me on this Geek unboxing and review. I am the Holy Warrior. God bless you all.
Really? 